And happy Friday, and welcome to CNN Sports Tonight. I'm Nick Charles. And I'm Fred Hickman. And uh, let's see, two or three guesses as to what the lead story is. First two don't count. Uh, a rose is a rose is a rose, right? I think you're <laughs> Something close. like that. Yeah. Well, it looks to be a long weekend for Pete Rose. The judge who will determine who will rule on Rose's fate concerning gambling allegations on baseball said he needs more time to digest the testimony. And so after two full days of courtroom hearings, the judge in Cincinnati said he'll rule Sunday at noon on whether the courts should take the Rose case or whether Rose will have his fate decided Monday at a scheduled hearing with the baseball commissioner. Pete Rose's day started early. He arrived in Cincinnati from Atlanta at 3.30 in the morning with the Reds. By 6 a.m., he was gone, off alone to, ironically, the gambling capital of Atlantic City to appear at a baseball memorabilia show. Rose signed autographs for $15 each and remained shielded behind a curtain from the trailing media. Hey, Pete, Pete. talk to the media. Can I get Couple a question questions, Pete. While Rose signed his name for a fee and later flew back to Cincinnati, his lawyers there continued the legal battle over who will rule on Rose's fate, saying there's a life sentence at stake. A biased decision, Your Honor, against Pete Rose would destroy his reputation and career. Your Honor has already seen a preview of what's going to happen unless we have an opportunity to delve further into this case to determine further the bias and prejudice nature of the commissioner and the activities of this investigation. Baseball's chief investigator, John Dowd, spent two and a half hours facing tough cross-examination by staff. Dowd defended his investigation and chiseled home the opinion Jamadi has not decided Rose's fate. And that's why he's not taken Mr. Rose off the field. And that's why he's allowed Mr. Rose another 30 days. And that's why he's instructed me to make sure that we facilitate and cooperate in every single way. This man's mind is open. It had always been open. Jamadi's lawyer noted in his closing argument, baseball has always been capable of governing itself by its own rules, including the clear one that prohibits gambling on the game. Over the years, Your Honor, every court that has considered this issue has recognized and upheld the powers of the Commissioner of Baseball. No court has ever substituted itself for the Commissioner's action. Judge Norbert Nadel said the fact he's being asked to move this lawsuit by Rose away from baseball's rule and into the unchartered waters of the courtroom makes it impossible for him to render a decision before Sunday. Meanwhile, Jamadi remained in New York apprised of the proceedings and hoping he will rule Monday. I'll be in New York on Sunday, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't know where I'm going to be on Sunday, but I'm going to be waiting for the reaction, and then we will have something to say depending on what I, uh, I trust and hope that there will be a hearing on Monday. If the judge agrees with Rose's lawyer, he would grant a 14-day temporary restraining order which would block Rose's meeting with Giamatti Monday. In a related development, the Ohio Supreme Court ruled today Judge Nadel must either open baseball's 225-page report on Rose to the public or give good reason why it should remain confidential, which makes sense in that if the issue goes to court, the public would foot part of the bill and should have access to the information. CNN will continue to give you the developments as they unfold in this historic case and will televise live Judge Nadel's decision beginning Sunday at noon Eastern time. An unconfirmed rumor from a source in Cincinnati, meanwhile, tells CNN Rose will be forced to step down as manager Sunday until his fate is decided. Chuck Tanner is the name mentioned as Rose's replacement. Again, this is an unsubstantiated rumor at this time. Fred?